Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, setting up your DJI drone in your live production. So I'm actually using two controllers here today. I'm using the uh, original controller uh, paired with my phone and then I'm also using a uh, DJI smart controller. As you can see I am tethered with uh, HDMI into my ATEM uh, Mini Pro ISO. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, take a look at the uh, smart controller directly. Now as you can see we're looking at the on-screen display. Uh, so the first thing is we're going to hit the um, Actually, we're gonna leave the DJI controller app. Uh, now this is after you have your two controllers paired as your primary and your secondary. Um, so we're gonna back all the way out and we're gonna to get to the smart controllers uh, menu. And then we're gonna go into settings. And from settings, we're going to scroll to display. Now from display, we're gonna uh, go to HDMI and then your HDMI output mode. And change that to camera view. Now, once you do that, uh, you now no longer see my uh, display. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go back into the DJI controller app. Sorry for the audio, I, as you can, uh, as you can see, I am outside today, so there are uh, cars going by on this road. So I've just gone into the Go Fly, and now you can see a clean image of uh, my camera. So you can do this again with the smart controller. Uh, if you're using the smart controller, uh, you are going to be tethered with HDMI. So that's why I actually like using uh, the smart controller in this instance just connected to uh, my switcher. And I'll use my small controller with my phone uh, to actually fly. So uh, right now we're actually going to take a look at that. Um, you can see me here hopefully and you can see the drone in the background and uh, in your screen here. So I'm just gonna take off. Take off. Go. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And as you can see, we're looking at live video with uh, virtually no display or no delay, sorry. Um, so I can see the image uh, here on my controller. Um, you're looking at exactly what I'm looking at. I'll tilt down here. and I'll pan over to this body of water. So you can see that was instant, rather than uh, streaming out to an, uh, an RTMP source, which is gonna be very delayed. And that is really, that's it for using your drone in your live production um, without the screen. And again, with the smart controller, you can, uh, you can fly, I can, uh, it's not gonna be pretty because I have HDMI here, um, but I can move the camera. I can go a little higher. And I can tilt down. I have all the controls that I would normally have. So I can control it uh, from either controller. I could uh, also have someone flying and uh, another person operating the camera on the drone and as you can see uh, that's all there is to it 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and uh, hitting that bell for notifications uh, so you know when I post future videos. Um, thanks a lot for watching. There's a lot of traffic coming by now. Uh, so with that, I'll uh, see you in the next one.